Hello and welcome to Dyson Demons. I'm Emma and today I want to show you how I paint a skeleton warrior for Tomb Kings for Warhammer the Old World. And Games Workshop kindly sent me the box so now I have around 70 new skeletons to play with and paint. And uh, well I thought I would give it a go and the first one, um, my idea was to paint it in a relatively classical sort of way so of course you can see i'm painting it with some bone color and uh, i started off with a model that's been primed using the wraith bone primer and then i'm using the skeleton horde uh, contrast paint which i thought must be well more or less specifically made for painting stuff like this so i thought that was uh, sort of the obvious choice to start out with and just try and see how it would look then, of course, because I couldn't do something that was entirely classical, I decided to go for a pink color on the uh, shield. And uh, this is uh, also uh, with the Wraith Bone uh, primer. And then I am using Volopus Pink, also one of the contrast paints. And while I think the Skeleton Horde on its own does a really good job of simulating a bone color of course. Uh, I still thought it would benefit a little bit from a bit of dry brushing. So first I used a wraith bone uh, as the first layer of dry brushing and then I dry brushed it with a bit of white afterwards. Of course um, dry brushing tends to give uh, the model a bit of a dusty look and uh, in some cases that's not really very helpful but I thought for a skeleton who is supposed to be like an ancient warrior type thing a bit of dustiness doesn't really matter too much. For the spear I chose to go with blue, this is Talasar blue, also one of the contrast paints, instead of my uh, original idea which was just to paint it brown, but I thought uh, the cold blue color would work well with the pink and also give a nice sort of contrasting look to the yellowish tones that are in the bone colors. I decided I wanted to have some cross hatching, so like diagonal stripes on my uh, on my shield. And uh, the first color I'm using here is called Terradon Turquoise, so it's a dark turquoise color. Uh, and I'm afraid the footage is a little bit uh, blurry here, and I'm sorry about that. But hopefully you can see the way I'm adding the lines here, just thin diagonal lines. And the idea is to give it a sense of shadow at the bottom of the shield, and then I'll do highlights later on at the top of the shield. I also used the Pterodon Turquoise to do a dark outline around the shield, and then I'm later going to highlight that as well. And I just think it helps give a sort of nice graphical tight look uh, for the model. And um, I think that works pretty well with something that is relatively low effort with just a lot of contrast paint and dry brushing. Then you have something that's a little bit more graphical and perhaps a little bit more visually interesting. For the metal, I decided to just go with gold. So this is Retributor Armor from Citadel. And I just think gold works nice and it's a very, you know, classical option for the Tomb Kings, which are, of course, heavily inspired by ancient Egypt. And something they did love in ancient Egypt was definitely their gold. So I thought that was fitting. I decided to go with blue for the tiny uh, skull on the front of the shield to match the uh, spear. And I just quickly highlighted that with some blaster blue. It's a fluorescent blue paint from Huge Miniatures. It's just it's just a nice uh, light blue. It's I'm not really using it because it's a, it's a fluorescent color. I just kind of like it. Um, and I just used two quick layers of highlight. This is very much tabletop uh, quality. This is definitely not a showpiece or anything. This was just to test out a color scheme and see how it would look and whether I would like it or not if I'm going to end up doing an entire army like this. I then started highlighting the shield and the first color I was using is also a fluorescent paint from Huge Miniatures and this one is called Pulse Wave Pink. And again, I'm doing the cross hatching with the di thin diagonal lines across the entire shield. Um, yeah, I'm a little bit clumsy. That's what happens. Um, <laughs> and uh, it's uh, again, it's a way of adding um, sort of the illusion of light and shadow without having to do like um, a very realistic blend. I'm not I'm not great at blending and I don't really have the patience for it over large flat surfaces. So I prefer to do this instead. I just think it's more fun and I'm painting to have fun. So uh, that's what I do. Then the uh, second layer of highlights was a, a color called Cyber Pink, which is also from Huge Miniatures. And I used the exact same method. You can also t look at the um, at the edge of the shield and there you can see I've used the same colors for highlighting the edges where I first did the dark outline with the Pterodon Turquoise. And lastly I mixed up a bit of the cyber pink with some white and then just 
carefully added a slight touch of that to the very top of the shield. Um, I try to be careful not to overdo this step. Uh, I usually do it when I paint uh, stuff pink, um, but I just want to be careful not to make it look too much like something that would come out of the Barbie movie. Then the model was done and I, all I had to do was find out what I wanted to do with the base and I uh, ended up going with an orangey yellow red look and for that I used Griff Charger Orange and Blood Angels Red, also two contrast paints from Citadel and I just did a quick wet blend. Um, you could just paint them one of the two colors if you don't want to mess with, with the wet blending but it's very quick and just gives a nice sort of uh, subtle uh, visual interest uh, beneath the dry brushing that I'm doing next and first I dry brushed with a layer of orange I believe it was the uh, riser rust uh, from Citadel um, and I had hoped that that would be enough but it wasn't at all and uh, so I also used some uh, flash kit yellow as you can see here because I thought the uh, orange was just too dark and didn't look um, it somehow overtook the entire model and it just didn't look the way I wanted it to. So that's why I added some uh, some yellow. Then I tried fitting the model on that again and it still, it still didn't work <laughs> quite well. And so I mixed up a little bit of uh, white with the yellow and did a last layer of dry brushing. And then I was finally, finally happy with it. And here you can see the finished model. As I said, this is a uh, tabletop standard paint job. Uh, it's not intended for a display piece or anything. I wanted to see if I could do something that I, I like the look of, uh, that was also at the same time quick enough to paint that I could realistically see myself painting an entire army like this. Um, and I definitely could, this didn't take long, long at all. Um, and I, I quite like it. I like the pink and I like definitely the blue spear. I think it was much better than the original brown that I had uh, I had planned on. Um, and I think it works relatively well with the base. There are some contrasting colors and everything. The only thing is, um, it mm, I'm not mm, it's a little bit boring to me somehow. I'm not, um, I'm not sure. Um, I mean it's kind of fun with the pink and the blue, but yeah. I don't know. I'm not. Um, I'm not completely sold on this color scheme. Uh, I don't think there's anything wrong with it. Um, perhaps, on the contrary, it's a little bit too pretty. I'm not quite sure. So I would love to hear your thoughts and ideas uh, for this color scheme. Uh, how you think it works? If you think it works, or if you have any suggestions as to how you might uh, change it up. So that was what I wanted to show you today, guys, and uh, I hope you liked the video. But before you leave, I would just like to take the opportunity to thank the wonderful people who support Dyson Demons over on Patreon. So thank you so much to Thomas Masson, Scott Broadway, Gwena L, Queen's Wolf, Double J's Terrain, Mola Mola, Cyber Fossil, Steve Eberly, Bosworth the Rogue, Mando Project, Starcon 85, S. Bear, Ikenogikus, and Elliot Philby. If you are interested in joining my patrons, I will leave a link to that in the show notes. I hope you liked this video and if you did, I as always of course very much appreciate it if you leave a like, a comment or if you share my video with your friends. Also remember that you can follow me and my painting projects over on X, formerly known as Twitter and on Instagram and both places you can find me as Dyson Demons. So thank you so much for watching guys and I'll see you next time. Bye!